so we know that in season 2 the strongest renegade in the game was jair he was the most popular golden renegade he was the meta in season 2 and when season 3 started everyone was trying to look for a renegade that is going to be more stronger than jair and it was megalodon megalodon was the meta he was the strongest renegade in the game until now there is a renegade that is more stronger than megalodon and it has completely broke the game because things weren't supposed to go in this way it should be completely different megalodon should stay the strongest renegade in the game until season 4 where we will have a new renegade that is going to be more stronger than megalodon but this is not happening we have a renegade named devil ray she broke the game completely i already talked about devil ray in past where we discussed that how she is destroying megalodon players in tournaments but now we have an interesting development. Not only Devil Ray is destroying Megalodon players in tournaments, but Devil Ray is also destroying Megalodon players in real mansion attack. She's absolutely killing it guys. And I think it's not supposed to happen. I think developer just made this renegade too strong that it even overpowered Megalodon. As we know that Megalodon is a more expensive renegade than Devil Ray. You can get Devil Ray 5 star a lot cheaper than Megalodon. She's a battle pass renegade and if you will look at the battle pass renegade in the past we have renegades like Ramona. Ramona is a very good supportive renegade. She can almost fit everywhere but she's not the slot one renegade devil ray is a slot one renegade she have three aggressive skills that is going to do damage on enemy member crew crew classes so this already made her a very rare very strong renegade and we know that she's made for biker so combine these two things devil ray is the strongest renegade in the game majority of the players in the game are biker players they are not bulker players shooter players most of them are biker players so Almost everyone in the game can take advantage of Devil Ray and that's why she have completely destroyed Megalodon. Majority of the players in the game are choosing Devil Ray instead of Megalodon. Now there is only one thing that is going for Megalodon in this moment. Megalodon is better than Devil Ray in terms of holding a building or a city raid. This is only thing that is going for Megalodon. Megalodon overall is going to do more damage in a city raid or when you're going to holding a building. Even when you're holding a building, you can still win from Devil Ray, but it's going to be too much expensive. You're going to lose a lot of bikers when you're going to do a raid with Devil Ray. So it's more ideal to use Megalodon in that kind of situation. So if you will remove these two things, Devil Ray is absolutely better than Megalodon. If you are going to attack a mansion that have Megalodon and you are going to use Devil Ray, she have a very good chance to destroy Megalodon players. I have seen countless battle reports already where Devil Ray in a turf attack is destroying Megalodon. So we have an interesting development now. Now it's not only that Devil Ray is very good in tournaments, she's also very good in real mansion attacks. These two things makes her the best renegade in the game now i think it was not supposed to happen i think they want to make devil ray strong but not stronger than megalodon they want majority of the players to buy megalodon and devil ray both of them as megalodon cannot do all the things but devil ray is so strong that she is doing almost everything better than megalodon and that's why majority of the players are choosing devil ray over megalodon and she have broke the game because it wasn't supposed to happen if you are a biker player and looking for a renegade i think devil ray is your best choice i was talking about in my previous video where a five star max out kraken is almost equal to a four star devil ray but when it's come to five star when you will have devil ray last skill unlock which i think is her strongest skill She's absolutely going to destroy Kraken. Not just Kraken guys, a 5 star Devil Ray with 5 star Commander Corex and Ramona is going to destroy Megalodon, Keith and Stark. So there is a big reason why Devil Ray is destroying Megalodon almost everywhere. We know that Devil Ray is an intellect persona renegade and Megalodon is a bravery persona renegade. With this intellect persona is going to counter bravery persona. So automatically devil is going to gain advantage on megalodon players and now you will see a battle report on your screen you will see how overpowered devil ray is it is just one star devil ray can you guys think about this 10 million damage with just one star think about how much damage she's going to do if she will be on five stars so all these things combined i don't think megalodon is the strongest renegade in the game now it's devil ray if you will have devil ray three star to four star 
you are going to be fine for a long time i think you will be destroying majority of the megalodon players so that's why i think devil ray is the strongest the best renegade in the game right now what do you guys think about this let me know in the comment section and make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you in the next peace